Are you filming? Yeah. Okay. So we're in Haworth. How, not Hayworth. Haworth. Yeah. Haworth. I've got to get the right pronunciation. And this is the church. It's a bunch of the That is the church. I don't know what this church is called, actually. Hayworth Church. But it's not Hayworth. Haworth. Haworth? Haworth? Haworth Church. Haworth. I'm going to call it Hayworth till the, till the cows come home because I'm an Aussie. That's so funny. Haworth. <laughs> this has been in like a three minute sketch. Mm, yeah. It would have been two if I'd drawn it smaller, but it grew. That's the importance of it. Okay. Do you want me to do some watercolour now? Yeah. Okay. This wasn't going to be a watercolour sketch, but you know what? It's so beautiful though. It's just, that's what it's, that's what sketching's all about for me, making it up as you go along. Letting the sketch decide what you need to do. Okay, so I'm not set up properly, am I? So. Yeah, but this is unbelievable. It's like completely on the go. Yeah, so if I had been planned it, I would have done this at the beginning, not halfway through. Did I smudge? No. Okay. You see the whole setup. This is unbelievable. So, do you usually do it all standing up too? No, not normally. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I sometimes do, but when I do, I normally have this set up beforehand. But this, this set up, which I got from Mark Terra Home, idea I got from Mark Terra Homes, but I have the bendy, foldy bits, makes it a lot easier to do standing up. Here's my palette, my watercolour, my water container with blue tack on the base, which will sit there. My one brush that I do everything with, Rosemary Series 772 Half Inch Dagger. I love this brush. Absolutely. I didn't pay you to say that either. Did and I? by the way, who's who's holding the camera? <laughs> you got to introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Simmy. I'm um, sales and marketing director for Rosemary and Co. And Liz has come to visit us today at the workshop in Yorkshire. So I've taken her out for the day to Haworth. So we've just had some nice lunch, and now we're going to go and see where the Bronte sisters. Well, we've been in the church. That's where they were all buried. But we're now going to go and see where they live. But for now, we're going to quick watch Liz paint. Okay, here we go. I can talk while I draw, but talking while you're painting is a lot harder. Oh, so you yeah. can see, oops. Um, yeah. I mean, Liz has just set all this up just from standing, which is amazing. I'm just completely on the go, isn't it? Absolutely. Now I've got to decide how much, how important the stone work is, and I've kind of used, so I'm going to just, it's a lot quicker to use, sometimes to use watercolour pencil, so I'm just going to pull out the pencil to pull in a bit of stonework. Just in the wet. One of the rules of watercolour pencil is always use them on dry surfaces, never into the wet. Mm. But I don't subscribe to that. <laughs> if there's a rule, we break, break it. it. Breaking the rules. <laughs> Absolutely. So that just gives you an idea of the of the um, of the stonework that there is. It's lovely stonework. Um, and there's a big tree shadow there, but I'm going to. My dagger just lets me do all kinds of things. She didn't pay me to say any of this, but <laughs> I love this brush. I really, really love it. Well, I'm grateful. And they made it up specially because they couldn't find one that was readily available, and it's just, and it's um, just great. Okay, I'm about 
30 seconds away from finishing this? No. Who says drawing, painting, architecture is hard? Ah, it's fine. Let's <laughs> go for it. Where's the perspective? None whatsoever. It's just unbelievable. This has been like a five minute thing. Yeah, and this is this is how this is the speed of many of my sketches. It's completely it's just just me responding, just going for it. Let's just put some green in quickly. Oh my green's getting low. Wow, that's amazing how you do that. Just twist the brush, you know. You can use this controlled or you can just let it do its own thing. And then look, it's a, it's blue sky. So the only use of a water brush that I have, I don't like using these because they really kill the paint, but it is clean water. And this is fairly clean for me, but I love, I use the, um, the water brush for my skies a lot this trip. Um, so I'm just putting down some water. That's amazing. I normally do this all the time. It must be because I was on camera that I didn't put my... I mean, let's just pop some, you know, big... Wow, that just okay. pulls it, doesn't it, then? Okay, I'm bored now. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I might go... Are you still filming? Yeah. <laughs> I might... Sometimes I go in and add a few more details, or as soon as I say I'm finished, I might then go back and add a few more touches. But as soon as I feel like, oh, that's almost it, I stop. Because it, the, one of the biggest things when you're, when you're painting is you go too far, you overdo it. So as soon as you start thinking, oh, I'm almost there, stop early. Anyway. Thanks, Liz. There you have it. That's amazing. Howarth. 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 I got it right. You got it. <laughs> you got it.